first up, we're going to make some s'mores trail mix. You can go ahead and pop your own popcorn or you can use pre-popped popcorn. I'm using Skinny Pop and then I'm just putting in some pretzels from Trader Joe's, adding some little mini marshmallows again from Trader Joe's and these marshmallows and chocolate chips are vegan. And then I'm just throwing in some cashews. You can throw in some almonds or whatever other nuts you prefer. And then go ahead and break up some graham crackers and we'll stick that in there as well. Mix it all up and there you have a delicious trail mix. This is actually so good. This is really a perfect on the go snack. Next up, we're going to make these awesome s'more pops. We'll start by taking a microwave safe dish and we'll put some chocolate chips. I'm using the semi-sweet chocolate chips from Trader Joe's. I'm also pouring in a little bit of coconut oil. And then you wanna microwave that in 10 second increments and then mix that together and you'll see the chocolate start to soften. While we're heating up the chocolate, we'll go ahead and break up some graham cracker crumbs. You can also use the crumbs that come in a box so you don't have to do it yourself. Grab a skewer. Put your marshmallow on there. Again, these marshmallows are vegan. They are from Trader Joe's. And then we'll go ahead and dip our chocolate around the marshmallow. And then we'll cover that with graham cracker crumbs. And you guys, these were so amazing. If you wanna get really fancy with it, you can toast the marshmallows, which made it all that much better. So all I did is use this little s'mores maker, which my brother got us, and we use it all the time, so shout out to him. We'll take the toasted marshmallow, dip it in the chocolate, cover it with graham crackers, just like we did before, and there are your delicious s'mores pops. So next up, we'll be making s'mores sweet potatoes. Sounds really weird, but it's actually really delicious. All you wanna do is take a sweet potato, cut it down the center, fill it with some marshmallows and some chocolate chips. You can also butter the outside with some vegan butter and some cinnamon. That's what I did to make the skin a little bit more tasty. Once you have your potato stuffed, you can go ahead and bake it as you would normally bake your sweet potato and then top it off with some graham cracker crumbs and it's all finished. Next up, we're going to make these amazing toasted s'mores nachos. So we'll go ahead and start off with an oven safe dish or pan. Place some graham crackers on the bottom and the sides of the pan. We'll go ahead and grab some chocolate chips. We'll pour some of those in, grab some marshmallows. We'll pack it with marshmallows. You can add some more chocolate chips and some graham cracker crumbs if you'd like. And also go ahead and break up some more graham crackers and put it throughout because we are using these as the chips, quote unquote, for our s'mores nachos. Then we'll go ahead and preheat the oven to 350 degrees, pop that in, bake it for 10 to 15 minutes until golden brown, and you can broil it for a couple seconds to get it really nice and toasty. All right, up next we have these s'mores campfire cones. This one is super easy and you can do this just about anywhere. So you wanna take some ice cream cones or waffle cones and then just fill it with your favorite toppings, whether that be marshmallows, chocolates, nuts, fruits, candies, peanut butter cups, whatever it may be, get creative with this one. You can go ahead and fill the cones with all of your favorite toppings. Go ahead and take some aluminum foil, wrap it all up in aluminum foil. And then the great thing about this is you can either make it at home in your oven or you can make it out on a campfire and you can make these ahead of time and you can store them in the aluminum foil. So this is honestly a really great thing for a party or for a barbecue or a get together. If you're making these inside, you wanna go ahead and preheat your oven to 375 degrees and bake them for about five minutes or so. If you're making these outside, you can go ahead and just hold it over the campfire or you could even put it on the grill for a few minutes. And that's what they'll look like when they're all done. Last up, we have our s'mores pizza. So to start off, you wanna go ahead and throw a pizza crust in the oven and bake it just until it's ready. And then we'll pull that out of the oven, melt some butter on it. I'm using some vegan butter. And then we'll go ahead and top that with our toppings. Again, I'm using the same marshmallows from Trader Joe's and some semi-sweet chocolate chips to put all over the pizza. Once we have our pizza packed with all of our ingredients, we'll go ahead and throw that back in the oven at 350 for about eight minutes or until it's golden brown. 
You could even throw it on broil for a few seconds, but make sure you watch it because it'll brown super quickly. So if you're gonna do that, make sure you keep an eye on it. And you can go ahead and top it off with some crushed graham cracker crumbs. You can even drizzle some melted butter over it. And if you like a little spice to your food, you can actually add some cayenne pepper powder or some red pepper flakes to give it a little bite. Or if you like things a little bit more salty, add some sea salt to it. And then there you have it, guys. That is your s'mores pizza. So I hope you enjoyed all these s'more recipes. If you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe before you leave. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.